In today's psych news, the study that revealed where a diagnosis can go really wrong. I'm psychologist Dr. Becky, and today I'm talking about one of the most uncomfortable experiments in psychology. In the 1970s, a group of completely mentally healthy people did something bold. They walked into a psychiatric hospital and reported a single symptom. They said they were hearing a voice, not a sentence, not a command, just three words, empty, hollow, thud. That was it. No delusions, no distress, no history. And they were admitted. Once inside, they behaved entirely normally. They ate, chatted, followed routines, and repeatedly told staff they felt fine. They also reported that the voice had completely stopped. And yet, they stayed hospitalized. Not for hours, for days, sometimes for weeks. Here's the uncomfortable part. Their normal behavior wasn't seen as normal. It was interpreted through their diagnosis. Writing notes, pathological. Wanting to leave, lack of insight. Being calm, blunted affect. Once a label was applied, everything became evidence for it. And this wasn't about cruel or incompetent clinicians. It was about what happens when a diagnosis is formed before understanding. Because here's the thing that psychology rarely says out loud. A diagnosis can fail at the very moment it's given. Once named, it begins to organize reality around itself. It recruits evidence, it analyzes meaning, it turns coincidence into confirmation. Behavior stops being just behavior. Calm becomes detachment, distress becomes pathology, resistance mm -hmm. becomes lack of insight. And once the story explains everything, nothing is allowed to contradict it. You could be functioning, reflective, emotionally literate, and still be told you're functioning well, given your condition which is psychology's polite way of saying you're doing fine. Unfortunately, that's also on the list. This study didn't tell us psychiatry is broken. It told us something far more useful. The diagnosis should guide care, not replace further curiosity. And when a label becomes identity, that's when the science stops. And that's today's psych news.